Welcome to the Viking Repair Parts video. My name is Sean Kramer and I will be walking you through the repair parts step by step for the Viking Model E1 Accelerator. Here are the tools that will be needed for the repair parts. Prior to working on the E1 Accelerator, refer to the appropriate technical data sheets for placing the system out of service. We will be covering the installation of the repair kit in the Viking Model E1 Accelerator. The repair parts offered in the repair kit are as follows. The retaining ring, cover diaphragm assembly, actuator rod, actuator rod spring, housing insert, screen filter, U-cups, U-cup retainers, housing spring, clapper diaphragm, seat, and lithium grease. The cover diaphragm assembly is included in the repair kit but can be ordered individually as well. To start replacing the parts in the repair kit, we will first need to remove the four cover screws. Remove the cover from the housing. Use caution as you remove the cover from the housing as the parts are under spring tension. Remove the cover diaphragm assembly. Next, we can remove the actuator rod, actuator rod spring, and the retaining ring. The housing insert can now be removed. The U-cup and U-cup retainer can be removed from the housing insert. Remove the housing spring from the housing insert. To remove the additional parts, the accelerator will need to be turned over so that the base is in the upright position. Remove the four screws from the base. Separate the base from the housing. Next, we can remove the clapper diaphragm. We can remove the U-cup retainer and U-cup from the clapper diaphragm. Now the seat can be removed from the base. The screen filter can now be removed. Now we can start to install the new parts into the accelerator. Install the new seat into the base. Before installing the new clapper diaphragm, we will need to install the U-cup and U-cup retainer into the clapper diaphragm. Apply the lithium grease evenly around the U-cup. Install the U-cup into the clapper diaphragm, making sure that the taper side is facing down into the diaphragm. Evenly apply the lithium grease over the U-cup retainer, and install the U-cup retainer with the side that we applied the lithium grease to facing towards the U-cup. The clapper diaphragm can now be installed into the base of the accelerator by lining up the holes in the clapper diaphragm with the locating pin. Prior to installing the housing onto the base, we will need to install the screen filter into the housing. Reinstall the housing back onto the base by lining up the hole in the housing with the locating pin. Turn the accelerator over so that the base is in the upright position. Install the screws to reconnect the housing and the base. The accelerator can now be turned back over into the upright position to install the rest of the parts of the repair kit. Install the housing spring into the housing. We will need to install the U-cup and U-cup retainer into the housing. Apply the lithium grease evenly around the U-cup. Install the U-cup into the housing insert making sure that the taper side is facing down into the housing insert. Evenly apply the lithium grease over the U-cup retainer and install the U-cup retainer with the side that we applied the lithium grease to facing towards the U-cup. Next, we can install the housing insert into the housing, making sure that the center of the housing insert lines up with the housing spring. Install the actuator rod spring onto the actuator rod. Install the actuator rod into the housing insert. 
Install the cover diaphragm assembly onto the cover of the accelerator. Install the cover onto the housing, verifying that the center of the cover diaphragm assembly lines up with the actuator rod. The four cover screws can now be reinstalled into the cover. This concludes the repair parts video for the repair kit in the Viking Model E1 accelerator. If you have additional questions or need additional information, please visit our website at vikinggroupinc.com or call our toll-free number at 877-384-5464.